Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ted the Speed Learner and this is the home of the Looking for Lincoln Heritage Coalition Wayside Markers, the Video Response Wars, and hundreds of educational videos which will help people facing eviction, starvation, and bullyism. Now if you're wondering why, I'm, why my camera is at an angle right now, I'm running a live stream and I'm taping this on my Kodak Easy Share, but I have my laptop which is to the left of me. I know it doesn't look like it's to the left of me, but it actually is. And I'm reading the notes from my desk, well not my desktop, but my laptop while I'm recording with the Kodak Easy Share. So that's why you see this like this. Okay, so let's go on here. On this channel, you will also find video footage of several razzle-dazzle good time parades, parades from other Central Illinois festivals, the Macon County Relay for Life events, and so much more. This is one of three YouTube channels I've created in the past 11 years. The links to those channels can be found in the description box of this particular video. I also have a Facebook and Instagram fan page and I have a Twitter account. The links to all of these accounts can be found in the description box of this particular video. If you want to check out my Patreon page, feel free to do so. The link to that page can also be found in the description box below. Now, here's the thing. This is one of three videos that I have created for you guys to help, well, to, it's to help you find the videos you want to see from me, okay? And so you say, okay, where are the other two? I'm going to put links to all of the other two videos right down here in the description box, well, yeah, in the description below, okay? So you'll be able to find those whenever you need to. So here's the main question. How can you watch my videos on your Roku, your Amazon Fire Stick, or your Xfinity Flex, or even whatever Apple holds? I, I, I know Apple has a device, and you can hook that up to your TV as well. Okay? How can you watch my videos on any of those devices? First, find the YouTube app on your streaming device, and go ahead and highlight it, and then use your remote. And I'm going to go ahead and show you this because I actually do have a Roku and here it is folks there's my Roku device you can actually click the OK once you have highlighted the YouTube app okay and you're going to use these uh, navigation arrows to navigate the highlight which will usually be in white if you're talking about Roku okay and you would navigate that highlight to the YouTube app and then click OK. Okay, you're going to be actually using these navigation arrows and this OK button to uh, pick whatever you're trying to pick even when you go into the YouTube app. Okay. If you're clicking the YouTube app for the first time, it may ask you to log in to YouTube. Just follow the directions on the screen to log yourself into YouTube. If you saved your login information on your streaming device, YouTube may ask you if you want to continue with your login information or if you want to watch YouTube or any of the videos on YouTube as a guest. You can see what I'm talking about right now on this particular video. Okay, so look at the screen, you'll see it for yourself. Whether you log in as yourself or you log in as a guest, you will see a list of icons on the left side of the television screen. Now I'm going to stop right there for just a second. Alright, now I've done this a hundred times, but I'm going to do it again because I know that there are people and uh, these would be older type people and they don't really know the directions as well as they think they do. And you kind of have to help them out on this. Alright? This is the upper left, this is the lower left, this is the upper right, and this is the lower right. Okay? Now that we got all that squared away, now you say, well, why would we have to show anybody any of this stuff? Well, the main reason you'd have to show them this stuff is because, number one, they may not be able to successively navigate on, you, on, the, on the Roku, 
and they may go to kiosks, store kiosks, and not know how to navigate properly there either. Uh-huh. And if you ever take uh, an elderly person to a kiosk, you're going to see just how much I'm talking about. Now, obviously, even though you see those icons on the left, okay, you will also see a whole bunch of YouTube videos on the right. Now, I, I'm not doing this. Because this is an easy share, I'm not giving the directions properly. The icons would be over here. The actual videos themselves would be over here. Okay? Now, the videos that you'll see on the right of the screen are videos that YouTube is going to recommend to you. Okay? This is the videos they think you want to watch. Okay? So, let's go ahead and focus on the icons on the left side of the screen. The first icon I will focus on is the house with the red line underneath it. This red line is indicating that you are on the main YouTube screen. Well, it's the YouTube app. Okay, you, you, this is the main screen of the YouTube app. Okay, on the right side of the screen, you will see videos that YouTube is recommending to you. One of those videos is going to be highlighted in white. Okay, that means that they're assuming you're going to pick that particular video. You may, you may not. But anyway, let's go on. If you click the left arrow on your remote, remember those navigation arrows? If you click the left arrow on your remote, the white highlight will move to the home icon. If you click the up arrow on your remote, your highlight will you will highlight the magnifying glass, which is also known as the search icon. Okay? The screen you're seeing now is the screen you would use to find my YouTube channel. At this point, you would use your navigation arrow keys on your remote to spell out the name Speed Learner. Okay? You'll see that all 26 letters of the alphabet are now on the right side of your screen. Okay? And so what you're going to do is once you navigate to the magnifying glass or otherwise search and you click the OK button then you can navigate to the right and you will actually uh, spell out my name by clicking every one of the letters you know, you'd, you'd highlight S, you click that, and then, you and then you'd highlight the word P and you click that uh, you, you, and what I'm saying is you use the remote and you click OK Okay, you, you use the navigation arrows to move from letter to letter and then you would use the OK to actually click those letters and you would start spelling out my name now at a certain point YouTube should recognize what you're trying to spell out and say okay that's what you're trying to spell out if they do all you have to do is highlight to the name speed learner and just click OK and boom you'll go to my channel alright otherwise you may have to spell out my whole name. If you do, make sure you do not put a space between the, the word speed and learner because if you do, you may not find me. Now, if you spell out my whole name and it doesn't pop up on the left side of the screen, then once you spell it out completely, just hit that search, you would highlight the search button and click the OK button, and then it would finally take you to my Speed Learner main channel page. Now, above the magnifying glass, which is the search icon, you should see your YouTube handle. Okay? You'll have your YouTube handle, your YouTube icon, so on and so forth. If you highlight that, you can actually log out of your account. At this point, I will briefly go through most of the rest of the icons on the left side of your television screen. If you highlight the musical note icon, YouTube will recommend music videos to you. If you highlight the gaming icon, YouTube will recommend video game videos to you. This is, this is stuff where uh, Content creators have videotaped their video game footage. Okay, they play video games and they, they record what they're playing while they're playing it, and then they upload that to YouTube, and you can watch those uh, what they call let's plays, and they would you would watch their let's plays on YouTube. Okay, 
If you highlight the news icon, YouTube will recommend news-related videos to you. They'll, they'll show you video clips that CNN has posted, or NBC has posted, or Fox News has posted. You'll see all those right up there. Okay. If you highlight the movies icon, YouTube will recommend premium movies that you can buy, and you'll be able to watch them right there. You can purchase these movies and watch them anytime you want. If you highlight the subscriptions icon, you will see a list of videos that have been recently uploaded by YouTube content creators you subscribe to. Okay? So if you have subscribed to me and you click the subscriptions icon, you may see my videos up there. If you have subscribed to Survival on a Budget Made Easy and you click the subscriptions icon, you would see videos that Survival on a Budget Made Easy has posted. These would be videos that they have recently posted, etc., etc., etc. All right. If you highlight the library icon, you will see a list of videos that you have uploaded to YouTube. Not what I've uploaded, what you have uploaded. So what would happen if you highlighted the settings icon? Well, a sub-menu appears. If you highlight the word sounds, you can switch the YouTube app sound effects on and off. Not that they have great sound effects, but you can, you can turn them on and off. If you highlight the word autoplay, you can switch the YouTube app's autoplay feature on and off. If the autoplay feature is turned on, a video YouTube recommends to you will start playing immediately after the video you're currently watching stops. So in other words, if you've got the autoplay feature on, then um, after you stop watching this particular video, what would happen is that another one of my videos would start playing. Whatever YouTube thought you might want to watch. So you may end up, uh, after watching this particular video, you would be most likely watching another one of my navigating videos. There you go. When you highlight the words music previews, you may be confused at the choice you're being provided. Let me explain that one. When you highlight the music icon, YouTube will recommend music videos to you. When you highlight those videos, YouTube will start playing a clip of those videos so you can see what you're going to be listening to. Okay? If you turn off this uh, uh, music previews feature off, then when you highlight those videos, they won't play automatically. If you highlight the words restricted mode, you may be confused by the choice you're being provided. Once again, if the option is not activated, you'll find any video you want. But if that option is activated, YouTube will decide what videos are safe for you to watch. Now, this would be good for kids, but for you, that's a different story. Now, I'm not exactly sure what would happen if you highlight and click the link with Wi-Fi option. If anybody knows what that's all about, um, please let me know in the comments below. If you highlight the word language, you can control the language the YouTube app appears to you. Okay, You remember all those uh, icons you saw on the left side of the screen? and One says music, one says gaming, so on and so forth. Well, those all appear in English. However, if you click a different language, you'll see them in a different language. If you click Spanish, you would see probably, well, if you, if you clicked Italian, let's just say you clicked Italian, you would see Musica and whatever the gaming one is, and you would probably, you would probably see Periodico for news, so on and so forth. You get the idea. All right, if you highlight the word location, YouTube will adjust what videos it recommends to you based on where you live. If you live in the United States, then what YouTube would do is it would recommend videos that were uploaded by content creators here in the United States. If you said Spain, it would probably recommend videos that content creators in Spain have uploaded, etc., etc. Now, you can also clear your watch and search history on the YouTube app. Okay, now what is watch history? These are videos that you have already watched that YouTube's kind of saves in a in a playlist, and you can go back and see uh, those videos again if you want. 
Uh, now, what the search one would be is, uh, say you were searching for a particular video, uh, they would save your search results and you could find those things again if you wanted to. At this point, I will show you two other things you can do on the YouTube app, but I will let you explore these options for yourself. And you can see that right there on the screen. You can see the, the extra options you have. Okay? Now that you know all the basic things you can do with this app, well, apparently now you do know what to do with them, okay? If you have any additional questions about this app, you can feel free to leave me a question in the comments below. My only disappointment with this app is that you can't see the cards. You remember I kept talking to you about those YouTube cards that would appear on the top, it'd be like on the top right of the video? Okay, well you don't see those cards on the YouTube app. If you want to see those cards, you got to go to the smartphone or you got to go to a laptop or desktop. You don't see them on the YouTube app on the television. I hope someday they fix that, but right now they haven't, so there you go. Anyway, I wanted to thank you very much for watching this presentation. And as I continue to upload videos here on my YouTube channel, I hope that you will, once and for all, and continue staying tuned.